I'm going to talk about today is um, uh, how to how light and thermal comfort plays an important role in controlling your mind. Wellness is critical. We know that 79% of occupant, satis occupant satisfaction happens uh, when the building is healthy. Uh, obviously, your real estate value also goes up. Your re lease rentals go up when you handle light and thermal effectively along with, of course, the rest of the, uh, the wellness standards. So light is the most intangible of materials. It embodies the change, changing moods of the sky and qualities of place as it interacts with the building form, materials, surface textures, hues and ref reflectivity. It awakens the senses. Now orientation is the placement of the building, how it sits relative to its context, how it is relevant um, to, the, to the sun's direction, so it is essential to optimize the orientation of a building for solar exposure. Now the, the next better facade after the north is east because that's your rising sun and rising sun is typically very good for your health. It uh, has a positive effect on your mood. It reduces depression and anxiety. And um, yes, the morning sun will get in some amount of heat, but by the time your, you know, your office is uh, starting, it's about 10 a.m. Your, your heat is uh, uh, relatively lesser. In residential spaces, uh, we feel that you need to balance light with a, a lot of ventilation in mind as well. So it's critical that you take, uh, you know, windows at, uh, especially in hot, humid areas, you would need to give cross ventilation. So you will end up giving windows on both, um, you know, north or south and east and west as well. So it's critical that you size your windows appropriately, but multiple windows always help in ventilation. So I'm going to kind of run through a case study that we did. This is a building which was almost ready at Delhi. Uh, this is for the Ministry of Renewable Energy called Urja Bhavan, also known as uh, Atal Akshay Urja Bhavan. Um, the brief given to us by the client was that they wanted this uh, on a 2.76 acres on a very prominent location at Lodi Road in New Delhi. They wanted this as an iconic landmark. And because this was for the Ministry of Renewable Energy, and new energy, they asked us to make a, a, a net zero building, but we went ahead and we said that we would give you a net positive building. So one, we did, we, we protected the West so that you don't get the heat winds from the desert, which flow during the summer months, they're known as the loo winds. Um, and on the Eastern facade, we tried experimenting with, you know, biofin shading devices. Biofins are nothing but fins with greenery on top of it. So what it did was in the next slide, you will see, I'm going to show you the massing strategy and then I'll come back to how we tackle light. Um, and these were finally the southwest view, the southwest view again, the south side view. Internally, we simulated and we demonstrated to them the amount of penetration of natural light. So you had a huge amount of natural light coming into the space. And I'm going to show you the calculations as well. So what did we do to building for towards building services and net zero? First is you, all you need to do is you need to reduce the need for energy. And this is something that as human beings, I keep talking about this at every event. There is enough, as Gandhiji has said, there is enough in this man's world for everyone's need, but there is not enough for everyone's greed. And typically we get these kind of floor spaces and I'm not, uh, I, I'm sure that there are reasons for architects to develop such large flow plates, large spaces. And in this case, you will find that the North and South are relatively um, you know, sun path is, is you're going to get large glazing areas, but you had, uh, unfortunately, the cores on the north and south, and therefore we had to we had to do the zoning again, creating these passages, create these workspaces closer to the windows, and the full height masses are taken in the center. 